Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. We have uh, Steve Headroom here in the... <laughs> <laughs> and how you do it? Yeah, we are we are uh, drinking from a distance, from a safe distance here today. Steve is actually in from a distance. <laughs> Steve is actually in in the office of Steve's home or Steve's Brew Shop .com. Almost messed up the uh, the title. Uh, and uh, you're still you're still sending out orders uh, as of today, right, Steve? As fast as we could box them up. And meeting people at the door for local folks, so you're being all safe, and uh, that's what we oh, hope yeah. that, uh, as of this date, that we are all all doing. Uh, so we are here to talk about a delicious beer uh, that I made. Uh, I'm calling it my 15 minute Kviking Smash Beer Pale Ale with Brees Pale Ale Malt and Cascade. It's a little long. The title's a little long. <laughs> Smash! <laughs> Kviking smash! That was last episode. Uh, so, uh, so I, what I did was I, it's a, this is a keg conditioned beer, so I dropped off a little growler uh, at Steve's brew shop uh, the other day. And there it is. Uh, and so he's going to pour, uh, it's been several days, so <laughs> I hope it's not flat as a pancake and stale. Um, no, it's fine. But you, but you tasted. Uh, oh, it's got a little head on it. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, hold, hold your beer up. Hold your beer up to the camera. Let's say a cheers to everybody out there. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that means we have to taste it. It's it's really pretty. It's got great color. Mm. It's looks looks like a Budweiser. <laughs> I'll not take offense at that. Okay, so here's the way the the brew day went. Uh, since it was a short uh, boil, uh, short length boil, I only used seven gallons or 26.5 liters of water at 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 65 C. And into that, I just put 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms of Brees Pale Ale. And I mashed that for uh, at 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 65 C for around 70 minutes. I collected my wort and I only boiled for 15 minutes. At the end, of, or at the beginning of that, uh, 15 minute boil, I used one ounce or 28 grams of Cascade at 6.2% alpha acid. At uh, the end of the boil, after I turned off the heat, I did a 10 minute hop stand and I put two more ounces or 56 grams of Cascade at that point. And uh, I pitched uh, A44 Kvyking from Imperial, which is a blend of, I believe, three uh, Kvyk yeast strains. So the uh, Beginning gravity was uh, 1045, final gravity is 1008, and uh, I, after it only took two days to finish fermentation, and at the end of that two days fermentation, I dry hopped with two more ounces of Cascade for two more days. So from pitching the yeast on brew day to, um, to kegging essentially was four days and 4.9% uh, alcohol. Um, so, so the Kviking, we've played with the Kviking before at higher temperatures, uh, and it zipped right through the, the beer that we fermented. Now this, is, this only fermented at, at around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, or 21 C, but still, zip, it went right through the beer. Um, and uh, so what, what, do you, what do you think, Steve? Um, I think it's... I think it's clean as a whistle. Maybe it's a little fruitier than it would be if it was, you know, like a Chico strain or, you know, say flagship from, from these folks. But it's just a really nice pale ale. And it's not a Saison. You know what I mean? It's not, it doesn't strike me as being out there. Yeah. And, and so... One of the things that I like about these strains, whether it's the Kviking or the Loki, is that um, it's a great hot weather IPA strain in my book. You know, if you're just if you just need a, a quick, this is a great beer. It's clear as a bell, so it flocculates great. You know, I mean, my goodness, to brew a beer that like this in a week, <laughs> jeez. 
You it's can't very, do that in prison. It's very, <laughs> well, you could. Well, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. It just. Uh, but but we got, uh, and we have to say that Imperial actually uh, sent us some of this uh, yeast to play with. Uh, so I guess that's a, a little product uh, placement there. But uh, I've got another pouch of it in the fridge still that I'm going to wait until it's, you know, hot weather outside to, to you know, brew out on the porch when it's like 80 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. Uh, so, I can, so I can see if that does pump up those, uh, you know, fruity esters or those fruity flavors. Well, I'm sure it will. Uh, you know, they definitely will, but I'm just so struck with both of these strains, or, or well, this is a blend, and then the, the, the Loki is just a single strain. But I'm just so struck with this uh, kind of m- mega monster yeast. This stuff is just so versatile. Um, it, it just kind of fills any bill as far as I'm concerned. I, You know, this would be kind of my desert island yeast. You know, it's like you could pick one yeast, what are you going to take with you to the desert? Well... This, this stuff will kind of fill the bill for pretty much anything I'd want to brew. Yeah. Now, obviously, yeah. the desert island would have to get down to 70 degrees sometimes, but <laughs> <laughs> and up to 90. Cho- but. Choose your deserted island uh, yeah. uh, judiciously. Uh, yeah, but, sure. but yeah, but uh, for those who don't, or aren't familiar, Kvike is, uh, is the umbrella term for this Scandinavian farmhouse yeast. You know that's been going for like hundreds of years, and the yeah. and it's it's become conditioned to be pitched at these these warm temperatures because of the way these farmhouse brewers brew. Um, so yeah, it makes it extremely versatile, and we don't have to worry that much about uh, you know temperature when pitching, and, and it's a lot of fun. Nice, super clean beer. I picked this this um, malt because in our first ever a hops or malt sampler on basic brewing radio uh you and i liked the what this Brees pale ale malt did with the hop character uh of yeah. the of this of this smash the test smash beer that we tried so so i think i think the malt i'd like the malt uh, character quite a lot it's only one you know base malt but it's not lacking in complexity in that way. It's not, it doesn't have like a flat, uh, you know, malt uh, character. So I'm I'm real happy with it. And you should be. It's it's delicious, and it it is a. Excuse me for a for a smash beer. Don't touch your face. <laughs> Don't touch your face. Oh, I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop touching your face. T- <laughs> I'm not used to TV. Um, <laughs> For safety, I, you know, it, it, the, the nice thing about using the nice thing about using more complex malts, more complex base malts, is that they bring an, enough to the party that you don't have to do much else to them. So that's kind of a Casey Latillier, uh, our friend uh, from Ivory Bill philosophy Company. from Ivory yeah. Bill. Yeah, but he's right. You know. You don't have to add two ounces of everything in the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> now the next next beer in the next show, we kind of did, but <laughs> well, but now having said that, some some styles you do need to, and, and it's appropriate. And but, it's and it's fun to but, play around with the recipes like that. Yeah. So I don't want to. That's a blanket statement that you should never make. But but still, it's nice to know that that you can take you know a, a good pale a good pale malt. Maris Otter, Brees Pale, you know, and uh, had a couple of good hops and and, and, a, and a nice, interesting yeast and, and make a good beer, a really good beer. All right, Steve. Well, uh, right. be, continue to be safe, and uh, I look forward to the next time when we can uh, spend time together and, uh, and drink some beers. Happy brewing, everybody. Yeah, happy brewing. Cheers. Come and visit us online. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs and our Brewer's Logbook, where you can track and log up to 50 batches of beer. If you're in Fayetteville, Arkansas, stop by Steve's Brew Shop or find him online at stevesbrewshop.com. Oh, by the way, I've got Kviking. I just got an Imperial. I know this is an ad, but I don't care. I just got a new shipment of Imperial in today. So I don't know when this is going to air, 
But um, I'm loaded. I mean, I'm loaded 